Welcome to Surviving Collaboration with Google Docs using Google Contacts. About six months ago, I finished a, a professional development session on the use of Google Docs in the classroom, and a language arts teacher came up to me, this was at a middle school, and said, John, I have 180 students, and you know, with the district's my mail uh, configuration, you know, it's all initials and numbers from their student ID. How am I supposed to remember who these people are and how to do this collaboration you're talking about when I would have to learn 180 separate cryptic emails? That was a tough one. And at the time, I had no solution besides a few things like teaching the students how to go in and, and change their display name. And, and that was problematic because if I, if I have to depend on 180 kids to change their display name to be able to know who I'm sharing with, it, 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 it would just be too difficult to depend on. It was that night I went home and learned that Google had turned on a new feature for the regular Google accounts. Then they opened up contacts. But it wasn't easy to find. There's no link to it. But once you know it's there, learning how to manipulate it can make your life so much easier as a classroom teacher. So in this series of videos, you're going to learn how to find Google Contacts and, and, and access it. You're going to create a spreadsheet by, by creating a, what's called a Google Form. And this form will be how you will get information from your students into that spreadsheet. And then we're going to learn how to modify that form so it looks a little prettier when it's posted on the internet. And we're going to work with a document, learn how to sh use the sharing tool, and most importantly, learn how to use what is called the contact picker so that we can choose the students we want to uh, share our document with by name and even uh, arrange to have them in special groups as we need to. So in the words of Peter Pan, come on everybody, here we go!